Hi, Dr. Richardson here at Texas Facial Aesthetics. We're doing a Kybella injection today. So this is actually round two for this patient. Um, we did an, a first injection series about one month ago. We injected some Kybella underneath the chin. Um, Kybella is indicated to dissolve or remove submental fullness. So the area underneath the chin that gets some fatty tissue in some patients, um, we're able to use this medication to dissolve that and get a cosmetic improvement. So. It's a nice alternative to something like liposuction, which we do a ton of as well, um, but it's a non-surgical injectable type treatment. So we're gonna do round two today and kind of show you how this looks. So we start out with a little marking grid. So this shows you kind of a pattern that we use for uh, the injection. So we're actually gonna transfer this pattern to her skin. Um, and this will take us just a couple of minutes here to get this um, set. But basically this is gonna give us a grid to, um, sort of guide our injection process. So we transfer through this paper, the uh, grid pattern onto the skin, and it gives us just a nice template on where to put each one of the injections um, so that we can keep track of what areas we treated so far. So just a few minutes ago, we injected a little bit of numbing medication. So we put some lidocaine uh, through an injection underneath the skin. You can do this uh, procedure with or without numbing medicine. I find that patients are a little bit more comfortable when we use the lidocaine and so we let that sit uh, for just a few minutes and uh, take away some of the discomfort that she might have uh, otherwise from the injections. So let's see if our template's ready here. That's very nice. Okay, so it looks like that's stayed on pretty well. So you can see our, our little dots there that'll sort of help us um, pick where to inject. And so I'm gonna take away a few of these extras here because some of these are sort of outside of our ideal treatment zone. And, um for injection. And so our nurse Jessica here is gonna use a distraction device that helps with discomfort. She shouldn't feel much of this because we've done the lidocaine injections already, but she may feel a bit of a pinch or some burning here and there. Um, luckily the medicine we've used has already helped take away most of that discomfort. to remove the dots from here um, and she's going to get some swelling you can see that she has a hint of swelling already part of that is the numbing medicine that we put in part of that's the kybella as well so we'll take these markings off we'll give her a little cold compress that she can wear um, and maybe a supportive strap that she can use overnight tonight and she will get some swelling over the next uh, few hours and the next few days but uh, within the next few days she will kind of come back to baseline some of that swelling will hang around to some extent for several weeks She'll also have potentially some numbness, maybe a little bit of soreness, um, but otherwise she should be able to do her normal activities. And here in a few weeks, uh, she'll start to see some resolution of the swelling. And then over the course of the next several months, she's really gonna see some uh, dissolving of that fat and really a nice improvement in that jawline, the submental area, and especially that profile.